Hello, it's Sarah Berry from stampwithsarah.co.uk I'm back with another card featuring the poinsettia petals stamp set and coordinating dies. Okay, so I've got some of my bits already cut. The card base is Old Olive and it is a landscape card. I have some real red and a piece of pattern paper. Now the pattern paper is from the Poinsettia Place designer series paper that coordinates with the stamp set and dies. I'm going to add some of our double sided tape onto the back and then it just needs a little trim because it's just slightly too wide. So I'm leaving quite a nice edge just on the two sides and then I will just grab my scissors and take that off And then this can get double sided tape on it. And that goes up into the top right corner, making sure it's lined up along this edge. There we go. There's the base. Okay, so for some of the detail, I've got a Merry Christmas strip. Now in the stamp set there is a Merry Christmas um, greeting which is quite long and I'm just stamping it off to the left here because it's sitting underneath our white uh, poinsettia here. So I'm going to glue that on. Just there. Okay, now it's time for the poinsettia. I'm going to use the soft suede, and I've got three pieces of very vanilla, just cut into squares. And inside the stamp set, you've got three different layers, and we're using all of these layers. So you want this nice great big one and then the medium one and then the smaller one I'll just pop those on my blocks so that's the medium one And then I'll just put the small on the other side of that block. The small one. And then I need a really big block. There we go. That size. The big one here is E. They all have letters, so this is E. And that goes there. Okay, so that's our stamping. And the dies, you can see here, they have this large one, then there's a medium, and then there's a small. And then they have the inners as well, if you want to do a bit of embossing. I will be using that in my next video. I won't use it today but I will use it on my next video for the next um, next card I make. So that's that one there. Just have to sort of twist them um, until you get the right, um, get the match. Oh, no, I thought I had it. There. 
Okay, so all of these go through my stamping up die cutting machine. So I can put them in at the same time. Just put two in and then I'll do the, the third one. There we go. So there's the two smaller ones. And then we can do the larger one. Oops. And there we go. Okay, so I've got my fine tip glue and I like this because it's really quick and precise. So I'm just laying, la oops, I'm just layering these together but just sort of just offsetting them. So they fill the gaps. There we go. Now there is a little stamp in the set. I don't know if my camera's not focusing on it. It's this one. And it just fills the centre with colour. Just like that. So I'm going to bring in, um, let's go for Daffodil Delight. And that will just fill in those little bauble, the baubles, buds. There we go. So this is ready and I'm going to put some foam pads underneath. So on the reverse. And then this can get stuck onto the card base. you can give these a little tweak so they stand up a bit. How nice would this look on a box or on some really posh Christmas tags. Okay so a couple more finishing touches. Now we have um, a leaf in the, the stamp uh, the stamp set and there's this one and this one this one's slightly smaller than this one and then there's a piece that you stamp inside for a bit of texture just like that and then if I turn it over you can just see some embossing which is this piece here now you use those two together first I'm going to stamp um, with garden green so I'll just do the middle first it doesn't matter if you do the front and um, the middle or the the outer take that off and then that goes like that so you can do it either way you can do the outside first or the middle first it doesn't matter and then that gets die cut so one like that, and then you just place this emboss, um, embossing piece. It's not going to cut it, it's just going to add some texture into there. Just run that through.
we have it. So if I hold this closer to the camera, you'll be able to see that embossing. It's really cool. I think it's really clever. Add my fine tip glue on the back and then I'm just going to tweak these leaves and place it under there. There we go. Just like that. Now I've got um, some ribbon from our Playful Pets suite. And even though it's designed for the animal suite, I thought it was great for Christmas because it's red and white. And then lastly, I've got some of our gold glimmer dots. Look how fun they are. You can see the glitter. And these will just add a little bit of sparkle. And there you go. So that's using two different pattern papers, as you can see behind the wood grain and then this pattern. Which do you prefer? I'd love to hear what your thoughts and uh, find out which you prefer. I'm not sure. I quite like the wood grain, actually. Okay, so I hope you can join me in my next video where I'll, I will be sharing another card using the poinsettia petals bundle thank you bye